Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. This is Anonymous T. Hope you're having an amazing day today. So today we're talking love and marriage Huntsville once again because ever since this episode dropped, you guys, there was just so many lies that was told um, by the cast and Destiny is up, uh, you know, for all of the lies and Mel specifically and she's being she's moving strategically now she is only filming with these people to expose them to drop her receipts and then leave because these people are still trying to lie on her these people do not have any storylines but to discuss mel and mel is over it so as you guys know i just uploaded a video exposing the ppp loan that destiny said on tv last night she never had and that she was on public assistance, you guys. She was on welfare and she was broke. She couldn't keep her store open. She was running through her savings. She couldn't afford payroll. But you kept your store closed and accept $20,000. <laughs> She's going to get investigated, you guys. She is going to get investigated. And that's a whole separate conversation. But she's going to get investigated because this is fraud. This is fraudulent activity. The money should have went towards your business, should have went towards paying employees, should have went towards opening your business, and instead you kept it closed so you could pocket the 20K. No, 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 no. That's not how that works. But we are talking in this video now because we have an update on mel's friend so remember the conversation in last night's episode about mel's friend destiny tried to blame mel and tried to say that mel was talking smack about her and that affected the friend from wanting to do business with destiny and not i don't know because destiny's broke destiny doesn't have good credit maybe that's the reason but anyways nonetheless mel's friend just recently got on live and she basically said hey She's not fooling with Miss Destiny. She wants nothing to do with Miss Destiny. And that Mel has nothing to do with why she did not want to do business with her. So again, another false narrative designed to make Melody look bad, designed to slander Mel, designed to make Mel appear, quote, this master manipulator. How is she manipulating all these people that she doesn't even film with? Make it make sense, you guys. How is Mel pulling the puppet strings of all these people she's not talking to, she's not filming with, she's not interacting with? Doesn't even follow on social media. So how is she pulling all of these puppet strings? Make it make sense. And this is what I mean. The real T, you guys, is that they cannot capitalize and get into all of these other ventures in the way that Melody has. So they have nothing else to resort to but to hate on her, but to try to tear her down. Instead of taking tips, taking notes, trying to be a genuine friend to her. But no, she saw through all of you that tried to use her connections to elevate yourselves and it didn't garner the same results. So she said, screw it. You showed me your true colors. You figure it out on your own. And I'm not mad at her. I am not mad at her. I am not mad that she is not going to waste her time this season filming with people who are not going to bring her any peace, who are being messy, who are being two-faced, who are jealous of her, and they're so jealous to the point that they're lying on her now, that they have no storylines now. Like, it's just too much, you guys. It is just absolutely too much. Who paid for the studio while Destiny was recording music? Did, was the PPP loan money used for that? Like, does anybody know? Because I wouldn't know where that money went. Because if the, um, you know, beauty supply store is still closed, what was the point? So that is all the thoughts that I have, you guys. I mean, once again, another lie debunked. Um, Mel had already started in the episode when Destiny blatantly lied and said she didn't say chillaxin. And I'm like, <laughs> like, the receipts are right there in the text message. You're really going to admit to other parts of the conversation you said, but not admit you said chillaxin. What benefit does Mel have of doctoring text messages? Seriously? Like, come on now. Come on now. 
How are you going to admit other portions of the text message, but not admit that you said chillaxin? Like, like it's so basic. Like it is so basic, you guys. Um, but yeah, so we expose that. We expose the PPP loan that Destiny said she didn't have for 20k while her store remained closed, so she could ball out of control again and probably bought those Chanel bags. <laughs> like again, again, I can't. And now another lie debunked with Mel's friend saying, hey, she was never fooling with her. She does not intend on fooling with her. And Mel didn't have to tell her anything about Destiny. And see, that's the thing. Unlike Mel, whereas Tisha and others feel the need to try to tear other people down before you even have a first impression of them, Mel's not like that. Why does Mel have to interfere with you already fumbling the bag yourself? With you already fumbling your finances yourself? With you already barely able to keep your store open? Any person with common sense, anybody with a lick of intelligence would know that they're not going to go into business with somebody like that. And maybe they were sketched out by you because what you were trying to propose to them as a business proposal to work together, they saw through the scam. They saw through the nonsense. So therefore, they decided not to proceed. So maybe the issue was you and not Mel. Because Mel doesn't have to talk bad about anybody when they are actually doing it themselves. When they are actually displaying their true character on reality TV. Mel at this point is just there to show the receipts and leave. And I'm not mad, but at this point, like, can we get Mel some friends? Because these are all Martell's acquaintances and friends, and they're not here for Mel. Including Kimmy now. Kimmy's Team Scott. So, really, Mel is on an island, like, literally. So, what are we going to do to rectify this? Are we going to get some actual friends of Melody that have no prior connection to Martell Holt? Do we have to go to Melody's childhood and bring people back from high school to film? Do we have to bring people back from Mel's college for people to film with her? Like, we need Mel's actual friends on the show because these people are not her friends. They are not her friends at all. They wanted to use her and then they wanted to discard of her when she was going through her divorce and when she was going through all the drama with Martell. And now everybody is acting self-righteous and trying to pretend to be the moral police and lying and backtracking and alleging that they were there for Mel when they were nowhere to be found. They were sitting there as spectators as Martell was gaslighting and treating Mel like crap. For the world to see. So no, 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 no. We are going to continue to expose the lies. We are going to continue to tell the truth because it needs to be revealed that you guys are not going to get away with what you are trying to do. You're not going to get away with it. You cannot knock Mel off of the pedestal. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. So there is that. Please let me know your guys' thoughts on this is I don't even I've lost track of how many lies that have been debunked in the past 24 hours. Just from Melody, um, you know, starting the ball, getting the ball rolling um, for us and then us continuing taking the baton and continuing to expose the rest of Destiny's lies as they keep coming out. So who's next? Who's next? Who's next to expose? Because this is insanity. This is absolute insanity. How are you on a reality show and you're not being real? How are you on a reality show and you're not being real? So there is that. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.